You know, there's Chef Ricardo Cookie Show, guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving you a favorite recipe. Anyway, we're going to marinate up some meat for the home. Alright? The weather change. Yeah, we're going to marinate it, prepare it, season it up. If you don't eat this meat, do not discard me in the description box. Skip the video and go down another video more, go down some more and watch more recipe. Alright? We're gonna show you how to marinate up my meat and prepare it and put it down into your freezer or your fridge you know what i mean it's, if you're at home and you have a lot of time a spare hand by you you know what i mean these are things which you can do at home in your kitchen all right is marinate up your meat and put it into your freezer and leave it for one two weeks or you can marinate it and put it into your fridge and cook it the next year simple it's like abc all right grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and if not just go over to my instagram or my website chefricotta.co.uk you know what i mean donate button is up on the top a lot of people who donate you know what i mean i really appreciate it you know what i mean if i'm a 50p 1p whatever i really appreciate it all right thank you so much for your support and for your time watching the video and we are always try our best to give you some of the most Beautiful recipe that we have. Nice and lovely guys. So right here as I can see for yourself We're going to Marinate up some meat First of all, I must introduce it to my new knife Here it is sharp and delicate All right, very very sharp. You have to know to use this one Anyway, you need something like this in your kitchen to work with look at this guys So basically if you are in the kitchen, you want to cut like onion and all that thing there See what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is what happened. Make your guys can see exactly what I got. Look at the knife shot. Alright? Yeah. You know what I mean? You just take a little time. Because you don't want to cut yourself. Alright? And cut up the stuff nicely. Alright? This is a new knife. The link is in the description box. Or right, go on my website, Chef Ricardo. Dot co dot uk look how easy the knife is so sharp look at this guys oh my god it's so sharp honestly it's like for cut grape fruits and a little bit of vegetable you know what i mean so if you're all the ladies then way you know what I mean? Can't manage a dull knife and they want a sharp knife. The husband them need to buy no one of this. It's cause them a knife hit no normal. Look at that. Amazing. Simple. But may I tell you, sharp. Look at It's so sharp guys, honestly. It just run through anything. And not only that, it's so easy to sharpen and you have its own cover. We're just pushing it like this. Alright? And put it away safe from the kids then. Alright? So this is the sharp knife for Chef Ricardo been talking about. It's on my website. Go over to my website, chefricardo.co.uk. The link is in the description box. Thank you so much. Alright. Business time. I'm gonna marinate the meat. Garlic press is on my website. You need to get one. Alright? A lot of people keep asking me how to get the garlic press. Look, that's how it work. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, now, I just, yeah. Yeah, man. All the vegetable I'm in it, you know. Right, that is just lovely and amazing. Now, what we're gonna do is just gonna go down to some seasoning. Now. First of all, we're gonna put on some paprika. Let's pop it. 
tobacco. This is just like some steak season, dry herbs. Pinch of salt. Not much. All purpose is one large tablespoon, a little bit more. This is Chef Ricardo Natural Blend, authentic blending season. Look at that. Let's put a tablespoon on it, a teaspoon. Now that one is a jerk one. This is a normal one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got that one on a jerk one. Yeah man, looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup. Of about a tablespoon. A bit of dark soy sauce, bunny. All right. Now it's time to massage it up. Yeah. So what you wanna do is rub it up. You know what I mean? Get all of that flavor into the meat. You get what I mean? Yeah. All of that beautiful flavor into the meat. And you know, come out really lovely and nice when you're cooking it. Get that texture of the meat. You know? Yeah. That is just lovely and nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Got the natural blending season, it have everything in it. Ginger, lemon juice, everything, you know? Yeah. You might have said, what can I make that? Chef Ricardo, you never mentioned the meat. We don't have to mention this, I want everyone supposed to know about this. <laughs> yeah. Everyone know what can I make this. Alright, yeah, look at that. Nice and lovely. It's not beef and it's not chicken, you know what I mean? And it's not lamb, you know what I mean? It's P O R K, you know what I mean? Yeah, here it is. Nice and lovely. Yeah, man, I hit that. Beautiful one. Anyway, I hate that now guys. So basically if you wanna cook this tomorrow, put it in your fridge. If you wanna cook it three weeks time, freezer. And they are good to go. Let's put it into a nice lovely small container. Put it into your freezer. Beautiful. Look at that. Fantastic and an amazing. Alright, and that's exactly what Chef Ricard have been talking about. Yeah. The texture and the quality of Marinate in your meat and put it down and leave it for it to soak for a nice good two weeks. Alright, or put it into your fridge, cook it the next day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. See you next time in the kitchen with more recipe from Chef Ricardo. Bye bye.